when a galvanometer is shunted by a resistance s its current capacity increases n times current capacity increases n times means see here galvanometer is shunted it means we are using galvanometer as an ammeter and when galvanometer is used as an ammeter then its current capacity increases n times it means the new range of ammeter it becomes n times the original range therefore the shunt required to increase the range of an ammeter n times is s is equal to is s is equal to what s is equal to g upon n minus 1 g upon what n minus 1 now later on it was given that when the same galvanometer is shunted by another resistance s dash then its current capacity increases n dash times it means s dash when it is shunted by what s dash current capacity of ammeter increases by n dash times means s dash is equal to g upon n dash minus 1 because here same galvanometer that's why we are taking resistance of galvanometer same we are taking what resistance of galvanometer same so we are having two equation equation 1 and this is equation number what two equation 1 and that of equation number 2 now let us divide equation 1 by equation 2 so we will get s s divided by s dash is equal to s divided by s dash is equal to n dash minus 1 divided by n minus 1 n dash minus 1 divided by what n minus 1 now let us cross multiply it therefore what we will get s in bracket n minus 1 is equal to s dash in bracket n dash minus 1 n dash minus 1 therefore now let us multiply this so s into n minus of s is equal to s dash in bracket n dash minus 1 now let us take sn is equal to now minus s take it to other side so s dash in bracket n dash minus 1 minus s now it becomes plus s we are interested in finding the expression for n so n is equal to divide this s so n is equal to s dash in bracket n dash minus 1 plus s whole divided by s whole divided by s so which option is correct look at option number d it is what s s plus n dash minus 1 into s dash so for this question option d is the correct option